Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor Official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Here is our recap of Episode 3 of The Bachelor, Season 28. On the first group date, nine women compete in the inaugural Mrs. Wright pageant in this week's episode. On the one-on-one -on -one date, one lucky woman gets to ride the waves with Joey Graziadei. Eight women participate in the first-ever Bachelor Open on the second group date. Joey had nine brides last week, but this week he's at the wildest tennis tournament you've ever seen, sitting courtside. Joey declares it a success because everyone is amicable and has a wonderful time. These are a few of the standout moments from Episode 3 of The Bachelor, Season 28. The women are excited to spend some time with Joey today as it's a new day. Jess Palmer enters the home. Everyone was waiting tensely on the couch in the living room, so they must have known he was coming. Jesse, what's going on? He starts, You are the women that Joey really can see a future with. You are the 18 women who made it through the week. Well, Jesse, I doubt that. He simply cannot be allowed to send them all home too soon in the season. He needs to adhere to a certain format. There must be a few losers in the bunch. Only a few of them need to travel with him for entertainment. Jesse continues, This week there will be one really romantic one-on-one -on -one date and two really fun group dates. Us and us are all the women reactions. Presently, he pulls the initial group date card from his rear pocket and sets it down on the coffee table. With best wishes, he leaves, and Jess leaps up to tear open the card. I'm searching for my Mrs. Wright, Edwina, Kelsey A, Lexi, Allison, Medina, Krissa, Lee, Sydney, Maria. Joey, I love you. Joey is waiting for the women to arrive in a downtown theater in the meantime. Mrs. Wright simply refers to the ideal individual for me, he states. So I'm hoping they can be themselves and open up today so we can have some fun. I aim to be their Mr. Wright, but I'm here to find my Mrs. Wright. Joey announces to the women that there are more women who wanted to be her and join us as he gathers them on stage. Sharing Joey with even more girls seems to be bothering some of the women. However, they reveal themselves to be four of Jerry's girls from The Golden Bachelor when he calls them out from backstage. The ladies from A.S. Can are April, Susan, Kathy, and Nancy. They all say it once. And if you're asking, we're telling. Adorable. These women are turning their appearance on that show into a profession. Well done, guys. Obtain your pay. Having a pageant is the best way to help Joey find Mrs. Wright, asserts Kathy. Their rehearsal period is limited to one hour, after which they must play live for an audience. There is a lot of pressure. Three categories will they compete in, talent show, Q&A, and lazy Sunday fitwear. Whoa, boy. Prepare yourself for some dubious talent. Welcome to the inaugural Mrs. Wright pageant, Jess Palmer. Edwina's a cappella singing and Medina and Maria's gymnastic show are examples of their talents. Sydney, though, has participated in pageants previously and laughs at their efforts. Check out what she has, please. Sydney displays her talent by cheering. She opens by saying, L-O-V-E. Joey is my soulmate and proceeds to Mrs. R-I-G-H-T. Mrs. Wright. That's who I am. The Golden Bachelor girls exchange a few glances, but it's really weak. The audience gives her a mediocre round of applause. Next, Lexi asks Joey for assistance in proving that she is the world's best kisser. She requests some music and gives Joey a long, sloppy kiss that lasts for a few seconds. Not only are the other women not amused, but no one wants to see their partner kiss someone else. And Lexi is the Mrs. Wright title winner. Joey concluded that since she had surprised him by kissing him, she deserved to win. 
According to Lee's interview, there are ladies who believe that Lexi worked more but received greater rewards. Lee, don't undervalue sex attractiveness. Joey liked the superior concept that Lexi had just suggested. Sadly, it was insufficient to win her the rose for the date. I get to take that one home, Kelsey. The one-on-one -on -one date goes to Jen. She and Joey stroll into a surf shop the following day. After selecting two surfboards and two wetsuits, they will go surfing. Joey imagines his partner and him going about their daily lives like this if they lived by the water. Joey sees him and Jen aboard a bus with a few kids in the rear and surfboards on top. He teaches her how to surf. She enjoys herself greatly and believes she has overcome her fear of the ocean, despite the fact that she can never fully stand up on the board. Joey and Jen enter the Hollywood Forever funeral home afterwards. Is dinner being served there? That seems a bit unsettling. Joey admits he had some nerves today when they seat down at their table. Jen concurs that she did as well. She says there's a lot that you don't know yet, and he can't wait to find out more tonight. Jen believed she would never find love and that her upbringing had made her unlovable. Growing up, Jen experienced frequent arguments between her parents, which forced her to fend for herself. Her father and she don't get along. However, after realizing what a wonderful person Joey is, she understands what has been lacking in her life and feels ready to enter into a relationship. After grabbing the rose, Joey says to Jen, come with me, and they head outdoors. Drones with lights appear out of nowhere in the sky. After creating glittery patterns, they spell out words. This day feels like a dream. Will you accept this rose, Jen? And she answers, yes, of course. When I get back home, the group date card shows up. I'm done playing singles, Caitlin, Autumn, Rachel, Daisy, Evelyn, Kelsey T, Star, and Jess. Joey, I love you. Since he was 13 years old, Joey has been a tennis player. He is quite happy to share his passion with the women today because it is what he does for a job. When Jess Palmer shows up with his air trumpet, everyone is starting to warm up. Oh no, Jesse seems to be here to make a big announcement. He continues, I came by here today for more than just to watch you guys train. What are your thoughts on a tiny matchup between two people? Ladies, I should have mentioned something, but I didn't. Let's just say that when you enter the changing rooms, you will discover the truth. Jesse greets everyone and says, this is the first Bachelor Open. However, this isn't just any tennis competition. Autumn and Daisy emerge as infants, holding baby bottles and donning enormous onesies with bonnets. They are donning cry babies bits. Hot Dog and Bun refers to Star and Rachel. They remark, we're going to mustard all the confidence, but these ladies better catch up. Hurt. Jess and Catelyn are the beehive. Caitlin is the hive, and Jess is the bee. They're going to buzz all over this court, according to Caitlin. Evelyn and Kelsey are like lobster and butter. The claws are coming out, they swear. Lobster and butter are the victors of the Bachelor Open. Even though it was the most ridiculous tennis match ever, everyone enjoyed themselves, which is precisely what Joey wanted. Joey remarks, this is probably the best date ever. I'm thrilled that everyone threw themselves into it and had a blast. What more is there to ask for? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.